Rockwood, Texas, under some of the darkest skies on earth and powered by the fastest internet technology can give. For over a year now, Starfront has been pulling back the curtain on the heavens right here in our home county. Joining Coleman today to tell us more is astrophysicist Bray Falls. The idea for Starfront like, is a lot older than just a year. We'd all been talking about it for ages, how we feel like a place like this should exist. Uh, but we didn't break ground until May of this last year, and then we started receiving uh, the first telescopes out here in June. We looked all over the world for good places uh, to host an observatory. There's so many things that go into it beyond just what's good for astronomy. Obviously, Rockwood has a lot of clear nights per year. It's super dark, so you get super clear views of space in the Milky Way. But it's also an excellent place for the infrastructure that's here. Uh, we have fiber internet, so tons of speed to support lots of telescopes, and there's just great infrastructure for making all the buildings and just existing. So the thing that's different about here is that we're dedicated towards making it accessible um, to more people than it has been before. The ability to host a telescope in a place like this was so expensive that it was out of reach for anyone else. And we just decided that this should be more accessible. It should be available to most people that do photography. And so that's what really separates us is uh, making it accessible, but also how we structure the observatories, like the actual business plan where we have our different sized tiers that allow us to be efficient with how many scopes we have in a building, all these things that we can pass forward accessibility and savings to the customer. And how many telescopes do y'all have out here now? I think it's 475 conservatively. It might be 480, but we're closing in on 500 rapidly. The least expensive one would be the Sea Stars. I think they're 400 to $600 each. So that's like the absolute minimum if you're gonna buy your own scope. And then the most expensive systems, there's really no limit to how much you could spend. Um, it could be like, we have systems here that are over 100K, certainly. Like that one right there is very, very expensive. So how many, how many full-time employees do you have currently? We have a team that's 10 people, 10 or 11. Some of us are remote, some of us are on site full time. Some of us live locally, but we're from all over the place. And you said you have a few Coleman folks that work for you. Yeah, yeah, we got a couple of people that uh, commute from Coleman. I am the install guy. So all the telescopes that we get sent in or dropped off to us, I'm the guy that installs them. Personally impacted me, uh, I don't, you know, I came from building metal buildings. So, you know, it always kind of was a hit and miss, especially during, you know, holidays or different seasons. And then the travel aspect of that, and you know, this is right here, 20 minutes down the road. They would love to give back to Coleman, you know, um, and they want to hire locally. They're not trying to bring in out of towners to come work. You know, they would rather somebody not know anything about astrophotography and come learn it with them, you know? Uh, so I think that's, super awesome about them that they want to give back to the community and hire locally. What's the pipe dream? What, what is the biggest possibility Starfront could achieve? Dustin likes to put it being the Netflix for space. That's the, the ultimate dream is being like the go-to place where the average person goes to explore space. How many employees would that bring to Coleman County? It's a good question. I mean, sky's the limit really, <laughs> I suppose. It's <laughs> <That's> funny. <laughs> Um. <laughs> it's really out of this world. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Um, yeah, sweet.